one of the important question that I hear all the time is that I don't have ideas for the project, right? But projects are really important for us, right? So in today's video, I bought you a 10 different ideas which are unique, creative, as well as complex enough to be listed in the resume as well as in your portfolio. And yes, this is beginner friendly. So let's get started, okay? So the first thing is AI, okay? So we'll be building a personal movie recommender, okay? What exactly is this? How does this work? See, you have a public API called TMDB, okay? TMD, the movie database API. So all you have to do is just get an API key by signing up here, okay? And then for the AI, you can use OpenAI or some other AI API that's available for you, okay, which you have access. And what you can do is in the UI, just give a prompt for the user. Just ask them, just enter whatever comes to your mind. Like uh, let's say they enter, uh, I like horror, I like mystery, and I like so-and-so cast in the movie. And I like it to be Hollywood, Bollywood, or whatever it is. And they would click on enter. And the AI would process that it will give you a few keywords and you can use that keyword to make an api request for this particular service this will give you all the list of movies that comes under that keyword and yes this might not be perfect this movie might have inconsistent data but that's okay okay because this is a project that you're learning it's not like you're maintaining the entire data set here right so you can rely on the party data set that's okay but this will be an amazing project because you'll be interacting with two different services going through two different documentations okay you will learn a lot while building this project okay and second project in the same ai category is time management application what exactly is this okay you can take an inspiration of this product called rice one of the products that i actually personally use and many people use to understand how they are managing their time okay so what happens here is this application will keep on tracking whatever you do okay it will categorize it using AI. So categorizing is actually important here. Okay, so let's say I spend few hours in meeting and then I spend few hours in the Google Docs, then few hours in Notion, then few hours in VS Code. Okay, you can show me that I spent few hours in Chrome and I spent few hours in Notion, I spent few hours in VS Code. But if you categorize it saying that, okay, I spent few hours in a, a meeting called Stand Up and then few hours in Notion working on something called My Life uh, Resources or Admin, okay, then working on VS Code on certain project. So getting, categorizing something like this, going a bit deeper would actually give me a lot of insights on how I'm managing my time. That's what Rice does here. Okay, no, they're not sponsors or anything. I'm just giving you an idea on how you can use AI to categorize this. Okay, and then they categorize by time, they categorize by dates, you can show some analytics, like, you know, with some charts and everything. Okay, this will be an amazing project. It will show you how you can uh, work with permissions, how you can work with cross compatibility. Okay, this is a two application ideas I can give you on AI category. The next application would be subscription as a service on customer facing application category. So what is this customer facing application? So whichever is useful for the customer where you actually use directly in their day to day life, something like that. Okay. The first can be billing kind of thing. Okay. Subscription as a service. It's nothing but you let product owners create a subscription. Okay. And let them sell it to a customer. Okay. You'll be a middleman here. So what you do is you give them UI for the product product owners. They'll, up, they'll add, add the details of their product. Okay. And they'll say, okay, every month, uh, detect thousand hundred rupees if a customer purchases this particular subscription let's say it's a newsletter and let's say i'm a product owner i'm gonna sign up okay i'm gonna share the link to my customer base and few people purchases that now every month hundred rupees will be detected automatically from their account okay i can you can achieve this by using razor pay subscriptions okay and then you're simplifying that subscription using your ui for the product owners and customers who have no idea about tech Okay, it's like a no code kind of thing. Okay, you can use, you can build this for the customer facing application. Or another uh, suggestion is that you can build something like a subscription boxes. Okay, something like this, Times Prime. Okay, what these guys would do is, these guys would uh, charge you like, let's say, 1000 rupees or something. And they would give you a bunch of subscriptions. Okay, you can do something like this. Or you can let the user customize it. Let's say I want to add Netflix, Prime, Disney plus Hotstar and then uh, Zomato and Swiggy and dine out, okay? And then let's say that total cost is 2,000 rupees. So I click on 2,000 rupees once, 
okay i paid 2000 rupees to you and you in the back end would background what you would do is you would sub subscribe to all these services on my behalf something like that okay in this the caveat is let's say you might not be able to get apis for zomato swiggy and all this stuff to create a subscription that's okay okay just create a mocking simple fake route in your backend for swiggy zomato and everything and just send a request to that and get a response back that's all simple okay this way you will learn about how to research on these other products how to combine these products how to manage the uh, mathematical logic between different products and use discount code so that it increase the complexity by adding discount codes as well coupon codes and everything okay so these are the two ideas i can give you for customer facing application the next thing is real time communication very important okay what can you do with real time lot of stuff right the one such idea i can give you is build something like course and box okay code editors uh, real time collaborative code editors it's very easy it's not like very hard okay what i can give you here uh, the hint i can give you is use some existing uh, libraries okay if you are in dr you can get some like lib npm libraries for to like you know get this type of code view and everything okay you don't have to build it from scratch okay you can get a code view in libraries what you can do here is you can use web sockets or uh, web i think web rtc yeah web rtc okay web rtc for is for uh, video communication there's also one more uh, protocol that you can use to collaborate between two people you can get them uh, on your screen or on your window you can you both can type in the same way okay you can easily do that with events and web sockets okay that's the first idea i can give you and the next idea is instant language translation okay so let's say you build a chat application like a uh, crisp okay crisp is like a chat application that will give you uh, something like this okay you can see the ui here right uh, a support kind of thing so let's say uh, somewhere here on the ui i select uh, my language okay let's say i select kannada here that's my language okay the other person who's typing has english language so they will send me hi pavan or some bit of how can we help you let's say pavan hi how can we help you here okay they'll send it here and they click on enter when i see the message here popping up like this it should be automatically translated that's what instant language translation is okay and you can use it you can do this via ai if you want or some translation apis that you already get for free open source apis and everything okay it's up to you how you choose it but you can easily do that okay there are two more categories left one is media app media app first idea i can give you is storytelling platform okay what you can do is you can have an ai here as well okay uh, let the people describe let's say uh, they, uh, tell me a story for my 12 year old daughter so that she can go to sleep okay then what you would do is you would either get a story already available online or from your inventory or you generate a story okay and this is insanely good project for the example i think i have this one uh, studio here these people do that uh, i haven't used this personally but they claim that they actually use ai to make a story or let's say to create a video or presentation something like that okay and yes you can use this particular idea to make a smart presentation system as well okay and the next thing is music composition and sharing app similar to spotify and all these other uh, soundcloud and everything okay last we have scrapers yes scrapers okay keepa so this keepa is like a price tracking uh, extension basically a scraper for amazon you can do something like that you can do it in a command line cli tool or maybe extension it's up to you okay and the next thing is job listing aggregator scraper will go to naukri uh, internshala insta hire and some other platform it would look for the keyword called react next years front end html css and all this stuff it will give you it will just create a file let's say excel csv file or something like that it will give that to you okay it will save it in your system then you can copy paste that to excel or google sheets you get all the list of jobs that are for react okay so these are the ideas i can give you for projects if you are saying that i don't have project ideas and everything if you're not in our community just go to a description our links are there just join there with that said thank you so much guys see you next time bye